Uh, so, hey, so I'm just going to let's just get right into the show. All right. I just want to give you five quick tips on how to optimize your Amazon product pages. All right. Um, so the first one is this. A lot of times when you're creating those listings right in Amazon, you have a temptation. You want to repeat words. Right. Uh, whether it's in your back end um, or whether it is uh, in your title. Sometimes you have a, uh, sometimes you want to do that. And my suggestion to you is don't. You don't need to, you don't need to double dip. You don't need to, if you put the word in the title, you don't need to use that same word in your back end search terms. All right. Um, Amazon's algorithm is going to pick that up. So use, right, your back-end search terms, which are super important. Uh, I was at a conference four or five months ago put on by Seller Labs, um, Jeff Cohen's company, and they actually had someone presenting there who worked with Amazon. Um, and so he was a consultant. He did some work with Amazon and, in, and specifically around search. Now, this was his take on it. And again, this guy's worked with Amazon on their search. His take on it was, the key words you put in the back end are the most important part of your Amazon listing, all right? And so I know some people say, look, the title is the most important. And what he was saying was that the keywords you put in those search terms in the back end weigh just as heavily as the title. Whether that's true or not, I'm not sure, all right? I'm just giving you what he was saying. He's an expert in the field. But the takeaway from that is, you definitely want to fill out those keywords right in that back end of your product listing. So, you know, go to merchant words, uh, whatever uh, resource you use to find relevant terms to your product, and you want to fill right that back end up with those keywords. Uh, and again, you don't have to double dip. If you got them in your title, you don't have to put them in your back end. All right, so that's the first tip. Second one is this answer seller questions with either your title or your bullet points or your description. You know, so if your listing has been up there for a while um, and, uh, and you're getting questions right on your listings and a lot of those questions are similar, take those questions and put them in your description or put them in your bullet point, right? To me, that's like a no-brainer. Um, if you are getting, say, and I have had that on my products, well, I'll get the same question asked over and over. Number one, you always want to reply to those questions. This is kind of something different because, again, it just gives more action, right, to your page. So you'll all, you always want to uh, reply to those questions, but then you want to look at them and see are there any common themes because if there are common themes in those questions, doggone it, put those in your bullet points or put those in your descriptions because that's what customers want to know about your product. All right. So uh, definitely use those questions or use the reviews. Right. If sellers are saying our uh, customers are saying the same thing over and over and again in your reviews, then use those somehow in your description or your bullet points. All right. So that's tip number two. The first one, don't have to double dip when it comes to putting keywords. Put it in the title. Don't have to put it in the back end. Second one is answer the seller questions if you can right in your listing. Third one is this, you want to really focus on the four main content components, okay? And so those four components are, and again, if you've built Amazon listings, you probably know them by heart, but those four ones are titles, bullet points, um, man, so I just had a, a, a brain lapse there. They are title, bullet points, product description, and back in search terms, all right? Those are the four main content places you need to focus on and you want to spend time on, all right? And, and again, you got to remember, and like a lot of times people want to hurry through this process. This is the most important process. And if you've talked to SEO people, they'll tell you search is king. You want to do everything you can to optimize your product page so that it's going to be found in search, all right? Um, and so those four things, your title, which most titles now, I believe, need to be 200 characters or less. Um, you know, unless Amazon has changed that, you want to keep your titles under 200 characters. You do not know. You'll see some listings on Amazon. They're like stuffed with keywords. You don't want to do that. 
because if Amazon catches you, and maybe Don will talk about this a little bit, um, if Amazon catches you, they will suppress your listing. And sometimes it's hard to get it back going again. So always stay under those 200. But at the same time, I recommend using up to the full 200. All right, that's, that's in your title. So again, the four key content areas that you got to focus on, title, bullet points, product description, and then back in search terms. So if you see me looking at the camera here, it's because I'm on Facebook Live. I'm trying to look up here as well because I have folks that are watching on Zoom. Again, if you guys have any questions at all, please feel free, ask them. Ask them on Zoom or ask them right here in Facebook Live. The whole, um, uh, the, the whole reason for this one, though, is to really emphasize how important it is that you create great product pages, all right, on Amazon. Uh, so that, we just went over the four content components, right? Again, title, bullet points, product descriptions, and then those back-end search terms. Here's the fourth thing you want to do. You want to avoid claims and offers, right, when you're building out your content. So you can't put those in the title. You can't put those in the bullet points. It should not include any, like, special offer, all right? That's against Amazon's TOS. So you can't say, like, buy one, get one free. If you say that technically, all right, in the bullet points or descriptions, that's against Amazon's TOS. And, again, they, will, they potentially could suppress your listing. All right. So avoid putting claims and offers um, in those areas. Remember, too, that content, right, um, if, if you created a, a listing for a product that's not your private label product, maybe it's like a general product, Amazon might get info from other sellers, right? Uh, you can do that. You can, you know, I can send Amazon, um, you know, uh, pictures, right, that they can upload and put on a listing, or I can send them bullet points. And so Amazon's going to aggregate all that content. So even though you may have created the listing, there are other sellers who may have input into that. All right. So just kind of know that up front. And then here's the sixth thing I would say is you want to maximize your character count. All right. So, you know, my advice is, again, in that title, keep it under 200 characters, but I would go up to 200 characters. Maximize your title count, um, your character count and the bullet points uh, in the product description and then in the back end search terms. By filling out and spending time on those, then you are going to help your customer understand even better what your product is. And yes, Angela says pictures are pretty important. And I'm not um, specifically, uh, my whole, the whole show today is really about content. But yes, pictures are, are numero uno, all right? You want to get professional pictures done um, for your product. That's the number one thing. Uh, pictures will sell that main image, right? That's the first thing that customers are going to see. If it's a good main image, professionally done, then bam, they're going to um, they're going to uh, click on your listing. All right, so you definitely want to do that. So those are just real quickly again the six tips uh, that I wanted to share with you. Uh, and then real quick, so I just want to go through the titles because I see I see some just bad titles on Amazon. All right, so these are my tips. This is what I would tell you if you're creating your title. Um, this is what I would tell you to do. First thing is I would say capitalize the first letter of each word, all right? I just think that's a good way to do it on your titles. I would spell out measure words, all right, such as ounce or inch or pound. Um, if the size is not relevant, right, don't list it in the title. Again, that's, these are just for me personally. Um, if it doesn't come in multiple colors, then I don't think you need to put the color in the title. If it does come in multiple colors or sizes, then I definitely would put the size and the color in the title. All right. Um, here's stuff I wouldn't put in the title. You don't need to put in the price, right, or the quantity. You don't need to use all caps like you are shouting at the customer. All right. Because uh, that's just not a good title. So you don't need to use all caps. Just start the first word with a cap. Don't, you don't need to include seller information, okay, in the title. Do not include any kind of promotional messages, right, like we just talked about, such as offers or sales. Um, uh, don't include any kind of suggestive commentary like best seller. And, again, you'll see that in some of the spammy listings. 
you're not supposed to use that. And again, technically, Amazon could suppress your listing, all right? So that is a quick 13, 10 to 13 minute hit, right? On creating great content for your Amazon listing, which is all important, super important, if you wanna drive traffic that converts, okay? Spend time, do and make a professional listing, all right? So those are some of my quick tips. I'm gonna bring on Dom right now. You can hear a, a different voice than mine because I'm sure you probably get tired of hearing my voice. And uh, he has some great tips for us here. So I'm gonna ask him to start his video. And uh, Don, here we go. I'm gonna hand the show over to you. Give us some of your great tips on creating great listings. Can you hear me all right? There you perfect. Okay. You know, you went over a lot of good stuff, Andy, and basically something about the listings, what you had mentioned is sometimes not doing some of the things that you said you shouldn't do is even more important than what you are doing. And I can tell you from personal experience, and Andy knows this, when uh, I got into his first group and I got into all kinds of trouble by not following Amazon's TOS. And that is, and I don't care that you're going to see plenty of listings with it in and you think it's okay. No HTML in your listing, please. I got in such a mess. And don't forget, Amazon is not good when to say, hey, we're taking your listing down because this is what's wrong. They say we're taking your listing down because you didn't follow TOS policy. Now it's up to you to figure out what you screwed up with. And um, I had a really good product going on, and I had HTML because at that point nobody said, hey, don't use HTML. And I didn't overdo it, but that's what I got my listing. Actually, I not only got my listing taken down, Amazon made me take my products out of Amazon until I complied. That went on for so long, by the time I got it up and figured out, that my ranking went down the tubes. And I actually never really recovered like I had, so be careful. No HTML, and people say, yeah, but I see it all over. I know you see it all over. Pretty soon, you won't see it all over. Um, it's kind of new to me that um, Andy said on the, ba the back end searches are as important as the title. That, that's good to know. Um, check, check reviews and questions, that's great, because on a couple of my items that I have in, I made the same thing where somebody was complaining about it. Even, you know what, I used to be a, a salesman for uh, W.T. Grant, if you ever want to go back that far in your life. <laughs> and I used to sell refrigerators. And my mentor told me, if you don't tell a customer that this is self-defrosting, then they don't know that. So that, that's, a, that's a feature, that's a benefit. But if you don't let them know, then they don't know. One of the things, um, the, the title, I have two instances here, and I'm, I'm, I'll go over something really quick with bullet points, because we can do um, how to make up a good listing, and, and we could talk about this for a couple of hours, because you really have to get involved. Um, I was selling, I still am actually, uh, if anybody's familiar with the Ozark Trail, um, coolers now that's all over the place it's it's from walmart basically and my um, daughter-in-law had told me about it and then she does um decals so i thought well that'll separate me from everybody so we can put decals like number one dad and all that kind of stuff and we were doing real good but what i want to let you know the title I like to keep my title simple, but I like to have everything in a title that needs to be told. Now, on these Ozark trails, what you'll see if you just pick up a set of two Ozark trail, 20 ounce double wall vacuum sealed tumblers, that's the title. And, and that's okay because you want them to know that you're getting two Ozark trail, 20 ounce double wall sealed tumblers. But, what I noticed in a lot of the reviews and everything and questions, people were asking, what is it made of? I mean, it's kind of obvious by looking, but it's not. Just because it's obvious to you and I doesn't mean it's obvious to everyone. So I made, of course, me and I had a one made for my daughter, so it was different. I had to make my own listing. Um, I made sure I specified stainless steel. Now, the other thing with bullet points, 
And I, I took a course on uh, copywriting. It made me more dangerous than I should be, I think. <laughs> but anyway, with bullet points, it was drilled into me, list your features and benefits. Now, to go over this, the one that this regular listing is, they're bullet points, and don't forget, you have five bullet points. Make sure you use all five. This, the bullet points are little, uh, what would you call it, little titles for the customer to read, little, little stories. So this one, first bullet point that this one has, it says double wall, vacuum sealed. Well, what does that mean to me? That, that doesn't mean anything to me. So what I put, vacuum sealed for long lasting insulation to keep your drink colder or hotter for longer periods. That's the, that's the feature and that's the benefit of it. The other one that they have is great for both hot and cold water. Well, <laughs> I have double wall for cold and heat control. And then, because everybody's asking what is it made of, in my bullet point, I have stainless steel. Now, you don't just write stainless steel. That's, that's a feature. Well, what's the benefit of a stainless steel? Well, stainless steel for long-lasting and durability. So you have to do the feature, and then, well, what does that mean to me? So what, it's stainless steel. Well, here's the reason, because stainless steel, long-lasting, easy to clean. Those are the most important things in the bullet points. Um, what else was the back end searches? Uh, you know, I don't think anyone really knows exactly. <laughs> I don't even think Amazon knows some of the times what is the most important. We do know the title is important. Also, remember if you lose if in a title you want your main keywords in the very beginning, because when you are looking at searching, you're only going to see a certain amount of that title before you open it up. So you want your main keywords in the very beginning, like this, 20 ounce Ozark Trail Tumblr. That's what people are searching for. And if uh, another way of learning the keywords, just start typing into the Amazon search and they'll give you all the keywords, you know, that people are searching for. Um, what else? The, the reviews are important. The questions are super important. Uh, I do put colors in. Um, I have, uh, and I'll, I'll tell you what it is because we kind of messed up on it. We got in too late. We were selling the uh, watermelon slices. Everybody's selling the watermelon slices. <laughs> I have about 200 here if you want any. But anyway, <laughs> one of them came, uh, and that's why we got in so late because we were getting this done. One of them came with a cushion grip, it, and it was red. That's when I think the color might be important if it's going to match something in a people's kitchen. So we put red silicone handle cushion grip. Why is that important? Because safety issues, the handle won't cut into your hand when you're cutting a watermelon and all that. That's, that's the benefit, that's the feature. Um, and that's when I use the color, it's red color. Uh, the watermelon slice actually was a pretty good seller, but now that, God, there must be 5,000 people selling watermelon slices. I know a lot of people that's getting a really late Christmas present from me. You're, you're on my list, Andy. Um, <laughs> what, what up, 200 or less characters? That's true. Um, I don't like to, don't jam your title just because you can put 200 characters and you start cramming it with keywords. Your title has to make sense. It can't be 20 ounce Ozark Trail Tumblr, stainless steel, uh, great color, and just keep going and hitting keywords. It's got to flow. The customer is reading that, okay? Uh, do you remember when they had them back where they really stuffed the keywords that the title would be all bold and everything? You don't see that too much anymore. They're out of here. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's about all I can, oh, and then on a, the last bullet point that I always put um, is 100% money back guarantee from, and I put my brand name there. Okay, I always give 100% guarantee. And in a description, at the very end, I put, because we always have something on sale, right? We put the sale, we put the regular price, and then what we're actually selling it for. I always put at the end, a call to action. Yep. On sale now, buy while there's still quantities left. 100% guarantee again. Um, That's about all I have, Andy, for that. 
Oh, I think I timed your time to 11 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. Hey, Don, thanks a lot for taking time out of your day. This is Don Schaefer, everyone. He is in uh, multiple Facebook groups. If you have questions, feel free to post them in the Amazing Freedom Facebook group. Uh, I'm going to just flip back here. Don is in there as well, and I'm sure he'll be more than happy um, to help or uh, answer questions. And what Don and I will do maybe is we'll, we'll make a post in the Amazing Freedom Facebook group, and I'll include some links to some um, listings that I think have are, are very optimized, have great titles, great bullet points, and great descriptions so you can see exactly what we're talking about. I just see a couple questions here, and then we're going to conclude. Uh, Lila, you said, please repeat what to capitalize. My personal preference is when you're creating your title, you capitalize every word in that title. Um, and so, you know, in the title, feel free, capitalize every word. To me personally, I think that looks the best. Uh, and then I think I saw one other um, uh, question here. Yeah, so Mark said, what type of course um, did you take, Don, in order to learn how to write like that? And it sounds like the course of life. Is that right? <laughs> Hard knocks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, hey, you guys, uh, any other questions, feel free to post them. This is a book I recommended a little bit ago. It's great for writing copy. It's called Cash Vertising. You can get it on Amazon. It's like $8. And uh, he just gives some really good smart tips, very similar to what Don was saying about, you know, talking about, um, you know, describing what the product is, but then also talking about the features of the product, right? And that's really what this book is about. So if you're looking to uh, become a better copywriter, check this out. It's a top seller. It's been a top seller for a long time. It's called Cash Advertising, and uh, you can get it for like $8 on Amazon. All right. So look, if you have not created a listing yet and, you know, maybe you're just starting, then uh, take the leap, right? Create your first listing. The way that you learn is by doing, all right? It's by taking action and you'll, you'll get better as you, you know, as you create more and more listings. But to be honest, and especially the way Amazon's going, you want to become great at listing creation, all right? It's going to put more power in your lap when you learn how to create great listings. Okay, so that's all I have to, for you today. Don, you have something else? Yeah, I just want to, uh, if, if it's okay with you, if anybody's making listings and they're not sure, I'd be more than glad to kind of critique it for them. Um, just just send me the listing, whatever. It's, it's just uh, confidential. Uh, just to make sure that you don't have anything really bad, I'd be more than glad to critique anybody's listing. If you start putting bundles together, don't forget, you have to make your own listing. And I am 100% for bundling. So separate you from everybody else. Thanks, Andy. All right. Excellent. Don, thanks again. Hey, I just saw Howard pop up in the, um, in the Zoom. Guys, say uh, hi to Howard. If you don't know Howard, uh, he's in multiple Facebook groups, travels with every conference, basically, that's out there on e-commerce, and he's a wealth of information as well. All right, so that's it. You guys have a great rest of your Wednesday. Thanks a lot again for joining us, Don. Take care, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Andy.